Hey besties, so I'm going to be creating an activity book. I'm doing this in Canva. I do already have my front page added in. This is basically the same Capri Sun label that I showed you guys in the chip bag video. So I'm just using the same thing to save myself time. But if you were going to design it from scratch, you just start with a 5.5 by 8.5 square and that gives you your front cover and your back page okay all that i did here was add in some text that was pretty much already created and i changed the color so if you just go here to text i use the same one right here the font is called hit and run but because it was already designed with effects to it i just went ahead and left it at that um instead of having to cre create something from scratch and then um, I just adjusted it to be at the same angle as my uh, name, okay? Now, next thing I'm gonna do is go here to my elements and I'm gonna add in a square. I'm gonna drag the square out to 8.5 by 5.5 and that's gonna give me my back page. I'm going to position it to the back and for this i'm going to change it to an, a gradient which uh canva already has available here so i'm just going to use any one it honestly doesn't matter and then once you do that you scroll back up to the top and hit your uh, change to new color that's going to give you the option to change your gradient and you have these different styles that you can choose from so i'm going to go with um let's try this one and see how it looks and then I'm going to make this inner part like a lighter pink. And then I'm going to change this one to this darker pink. Okay. And then I'm going to add in the same sort of style that I had on my chip bag. So that's really it for that. Uh, for this, I just picked out Barbie coloring pages from Google. There's also some on Pinterest and even some on Etsy if you want to pay for them. This tic-tac-toe option was already there. I just used this and I duplicated to make rolls of tic-tac-toe. Uh, this is an, another idea that I found. If you go to this website, it's called puzzlemaker.discoveryeducation.com. This will allow you to create a custom puzzle. They also have like crisscross, different kind of puzzles, math um, quizzes you can give your kids if you want them to do something educational during the summer or if you want to add some educational aspects to the uh, activity book then you can also do that something good for teachers uh, I only added Barbie there but I'm not really gonna use it this I didn't change anything I really didn't change anything to be honest with you except for uh, I added in my keywords which is uh, these right here okay so I'm gonna click create my puzzle and here we go so here are the keywords that they're going to find. If you want to uh, print out an answer key for yourself, you just select show answer and it gives you the answers there. You can also print it. I did not print it because I'll show you how it comes out when you choose that. It'll come out like this, basically a whole page. So I just screenshotted it. So I just did on my Mac, it's a uh, shift command five. And I just screenshotted each individual section. I did it like this because you try and like, you know, do this whole thing and paste it into Canva. It comes out very small in comparison to the actual word search. So I just did it individually and I'll show you what that looks like. So when I go to my uploads, you'll see all my um, different uploads here. And then I just stretch it out to about five inches. And that's it. Very simple uh, way to add something fun to the 
coloring page. So this one, this was also something that I found from Google. You see right here, and all I did was take out the additional stuff. You could put in, you know, draw Bellamy's favorite hairstyle, whatever you want. Okay, so that's pretty much all I'm gonna do there. And then for this one, I just added text, help Barbie find her shoe. And I added in the elements that were already in Canva. So that's pretty much all that I'm gonna do there. I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, print or save it. Whenever you have multiple pages, it's going to give you a zip file instead of a uh, saving them individually. So now that it's saved, I'm going to go here and print. And you see how it has a border around it? You want to check your paper size and go to border list, unless you want that on there. And then I'm going to go to my media quality and I'm going to select photo paper glossy. And I'll leave it at uh, best quality. Normal quality is okay as well, but you know, you can decide. And I'm gonna print. Okay, so when you're printing double-sided, it came out like this. And all you're gonna do is reinsert it that same way. Don't flip it or anything like that. Just reinsert it back into your printer the exact same way. Okay, so there is two sides. Okay, so we have completely printed and we're gonna go ahead and put it together, which is very simple. You could use one of these book staplers. And they're just longer. They basically allow you to slide your page or pages completely through and staple them. I have another video where it shows that. I'm just gonna show an additional way you can do it. Uh, if you don't have one, you can also just take a small dab of glue on the top and bottom and you could do that. Okay, and that'll hold it in, in place. <laughs> Okay, so here is my finished product. I basically had um, two sheets of white cardstock, which was printed front and back. I have this clear bag, the sheet of glossy paper, which is the cover and back page, a pack of crayons, which uh, breaks down to about 26 cents. And then I have a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock, one sheet was about 28 cents and I could get four crayon boxes on there. So it breaks down to about seven cents. My ink um, through instant ink is um, four cents per page because I get 300 pages a month for $12. And um, so that's an additional 20 cents. And then just some little, um, you know, other fluff stuff that I added in there. And that's pretty much it. It came out to about 86 cents. That is only for the product. That has nothing to do with the time. Of course, if you added any uh, stickers or anything like that, you definitely wanna add it into the cost of your item. You, you're gonna wanna do this per activity book because not all of them are you gonna be uh, adding in this. Not all of them will even have crayons. I have different ways that I do crayons. I have some themes where I have to buy clip art. You want to include that as well. So just keep in mind that this is just a way for you to keep track of what you're spending per product. 
that you're producing that way you're not undercharging so you do have to pay yourself and you want to include your time as well this is just how much it costs to create the product okay um excluding your time if you have any other questions please let me know down below in the comments i thank you as always for watching and i'll see you on the next video